Aha, today is vlog day 930. You're on the wrong side, lady. Righto. It's Friday, and I'm gonna go see the tax guy today, and I'm kind of really super stressed out about it. At least this coffee's delicious. I didn't do as good of a job of washing the filter out, though, apparently. A little papery. Anywho, for those of you that are, aren't tracking, if you're new, or th hopefully this isn't the first video you've ever watched, because this is not how I would want, want to introduce myself, but hi, I'm Jay. Um, hey, turn on the lights. Hopefully that helps at least a little bit. One of the things that I've uh, been meaning to do for the last while is declare myself for taxes. One of the things that I, I, I thought, I assumed when I started out that I was paying taxes because I've been paying my social charges through ERSAF, which is basically the setup for independent workers. And I, I'm not exactly sure who all pays ERSAF directly, but they're who I pay like 22.7% of everything that I make. And that's what covers like, you know, social charges, like healthcare and things like that. It's pretty solid. It's fine. There's another percentage on top of that, though, that you have to pay in taxes. And I would just assume, because I'm naive, that if you're in the system and you're paying them, that they know you exist and that they're going to, you know, send you something to say, hey, this is how much you owe for taxes. And that kind of corresponded with what I understood of the system for a long time, because everybody told me, oh, yeah, it just comes in the mail. They tell you what you owe. And then you send that in. And that's it, because you've declared all year. You know, they know what you're making. That assumes that they know you exist. And apparently the tax office doesn't talk to any of their office. They don't even know that I'm here, apparently. Although I don't know that that's true either because I did get a couple of emails a few months ago. And then when you go online and you try to like set yourself up, you can't. So they send you emails to go to their website, but you have to go in in person first to get your tax information before they'll send you anything. It's a, it's a weird... Anyways, I should have done this a while ago, but it was stressing me out. I had too much on my plate, you know, at the end of last year, and it's, it's bad. I've been assured, both by the accountant that I visited with, who hopefully is going to be my accountant, but I haven't heard from him in forever, and by a number of people who do pay their taxes, because they're, you know, responsible adults, that things are going to work out just fine. Like that if at most I'm going to get fined a little bit, I might even get a refund for my first year. But the, if I do owe anything, I won't owe very much. And then this year I don't have to pay, you know, for a long time yet because they, they, they do send you something in the mail and then you pay your taxes. It's complicated and it gets more complicated because I have to pay taxes in, in the United States. Anyways, I'm still talking about this because it's keeping me from having to leave. But I should probably print a few documents off and then I, and then I should leave. I don't want to go. I gotta go though. And then we're gonna have lunch with, assuming that this goes fine and they don't automatically deport me, uh, we're gonna have lunch with Valkyrie uh, and talk about tourism stuff because she's got some cool tours and I'm gonna hopefully go on some of those. You know, and then I, and then it's Natasha's birthday drinks tonight and we'll just, we'll, we'll see where this goes. I, ugh. All right, I'm outside. I'm moving, I put on a collar. So look, you know, some semblance of responsible, then maybe they'll think that, you know, oh, this guy, he just, he's just, he just didn't know what he was doing. He'll be fine. Let's just, let's not find him an arm and a leg. That's what I'm hoping for at least. Anywho, I'll, uh, anything that has to do with French bureaucracy, unnecessarily stressful. I'll let you know how this goes. Shortly, I'm sure. Well, that went more or less how I expected it to go, how you can expect it to go at least. You know, nice enough. They want documents that I don't have with me. So they gave me a form to fill out and uh, said to come back with those documents. And uh, the procrastinator in me is pretty happy about this because I get to put it off for just another couple days. The part of me that just wants this over with is screaming. So, anywho, that's, I kind of, I figured it was 50-50 I would get anything done. Anywho, definitely not worth stressing out about, but easy to do whenever French bureaucracy is involved. Anywho, let's go get lunch with Valkyrie and then we can get some work done this afternoon I'm gonna figure it out from there.
got a few things done. Filled out that form that they gave me. Most of it, there are parts of it that I'm not so sure about. And I have to get my landlady to fill out a part of it, maybe. I hope she doesn't actually have to. That's gonna complicate things. Anywho, I'm gonna go meet Valkyrie near Republique, since we're pronouncing words funny all of a sudden. And uh, I'm gonna try on the way, I'm gonna go to a FNAC and I'm gonna try and buy Natasha a birthday present because it is her birthday-ish. I don't know if it's, it's around here somewhere, but tonight's her birthday party. So I'm gonna go get her, a, I think a Switch gift card, a Nintendo gift card so that she can buy a game or two that she, I don't know which games she has for her Switch. So I don't wanna buy the wrong one. So I think I'll just get her a gift card and she can buy whatever games she wants that way. Happy birthday, Natasha. Also, lunch would be great. outrageously tiny FNAC, so they only had half what I was looking for, but I did get a birthday card at least, covered in monsters, adorable monsters, that'll work, and I need to go, I guess, to another FNAC and try to get the gift card, otherwise, you know, I'll write in here that I'll, that'll hook one way or another. You're getting a birthday present, Natasha, it's happening. In the meantime, I need to go meet Valkyrie for our late meeting. She, I, I don't think I mentioned that she actually ended up basically pseudo canceling on me, slash bumping it back, so uh, still, I'm still hopefully gonna get lunch at some point, I don't know. We'll figure this out. Had an apple from that one store. That'll hold me over. Who wants to meet a Kawa? I don't know if I'm saying any of these names right right now. I, I'll I'll read it here in a second and see how close I got. It's yeah, Kawa. That works. We're gonna grab hopefully food here, because I definitely could use a little bit more of that. Hang out, chat for a little bit, and then I gotta go figure out this whole birthday present situation and try to, you know, actually get a little bit more work done. The exciting parts of life. Anywho, I'm tempted to get more coffee, but I, I feel like I've already, I'm already at risk of over-caffeinating as it is. Oh my gosh, Paris. you're so self-conscious right no, now. because this is the thing, when you live in Paris, yep. you're an English speaker, and you say croissant, you feel a deep sense of shame when it comes out of your mouth, because you have to say... I disagree, I don't care croissant. what I say. Croissant, <laughs> you don't have that problem. Nope, I don't have that problem. French words, you have to say them Frenchly. Do you say, I live in Paris? Sometimes. Yeah, no you don't. I, I hope you don't. <laughs> it out and I say... Croissant. Anyways, they're sourdough croissants, I'm sure they're delicious. Croissant, they're sourdough croissants. <laughs> I still haven't gotten a new duvet for my bed, like the full-sized one yet. I'm tempted to do that now, because I'm right next to the store. But uh, I can make it for a while longer. I don't need a full-sized one. My little one's just fine. What I do need to do is go buy a birthday present. So, let's get to FNAC. Appropriately modified, I believe. I'm looking forward to giving these to her. I'm gonna go ahead and write in her card as well. I have some work I need to get done and then I gotta go. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it here. I might show you a shot from the party. I'm, we're just gonna be hanging out having some drinks. But otherwise I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for a Saturday that will hopefully be fairly chill, but also one more French food Saturday for you uh, because the food poll should be coming to a close here and I know exactly where I'm gonna be going because it was, it's been waiting the whole time. So unless something dramatic has changed, I know exactly where I'm going. I'll see you tomorrow for that. I'll, I'll see you for that. It'll be great. I'm stumbling over my goodbyes here, but uh, uh, good night. I love the card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Jake. <laughs>